Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a requested review for you guys. We're taking a look at Inject 2 by Greg Rostami. Now I've been using Inject 2, it's really Inject 2.5 now, for about five years. When I bought it five years ago, it was used primarily as a way of pushing information to your spectator's phone that would be a prediction later. That was the beginning of it. When I got it, I got a handful of effects and access to a Facebook user group. Now when you get it, you're going to get uh, over 20 effects that are built into it. Uh, you're going to get access to a Facebook user group which has over 6,000 members. Uh, this is for both Android and iOS devices and it's very robust. Uh, the customizability with this is incredible. I think I've utilized or experimented with almost all of the features of Inject, but there is quite a steep learning curve with it. Um, it's great to see that this has been updated frequently over the years, and that does put a lot of confidence in Greg Rostami's products. I have no affiliation with him, of course, um, but um, it's nice to see that he's made several updates that have improved this magic app to what it is today and we've all gotten those for free which is really great you don't have to pay anything extra so during this review I'm going to try to answer those questions that you guys probably have about this app I'm going to try to make this complete of course I can't review every effect that comes with it because there's over 20 effects so your first question probably is what is inject so this is an app that's going to turn your phone into both a receiver and a transmitter. That's what it is today. In essence, you can perform all of the major mentalism effects with this app, including telepathy, um, as well as precognition or clairvoyance, premonitions. Um, there's even a way that you could use this to do psychokinesis. Um, by doing it face up, although I wouldn't recommend that you do that. I think anyone who's into mentalism or card magic is definitely going to like this app a lot just because of all the features that you're going to get with it. This is an excellent way of doing pre-show and for some people this may even replace your impression pad. It's an excellent way to do a second sight act or if you want to do something where you have an accomplice if you're a fan of the one ahead principle, there's ways that you can use the one ahead principle with multiple spectators. With this, you can even use this to perform for somebody over Zoom or Skype that's not even in the same room with you. And if you find yourself out somewhere, you don't even have your phone on you, you could even perform this for two people without your phone. So you could see there's quite a bit of versatility with this. The other nice thing about it is you can create your own effects. There's not many magic apps that allow you to create your own effects. Personally, if I had to place, if I had to make a list of like the top three magic apps of all time, well, Inject would have to fit on that list. And it's for multiple reasons. It's for what you're getting. Um, it's for the support you're going to get from Greg Rostami and that huge user group and just the amount of things you can do with it. I would estimate that this app is probably worth at least four times what you pay for it, for what you're getting. And that's my honest truth from using this for the past five years. Sure, I've had it fail on me in the past, um, and that was probably just due to bad internet where I was in the hospital where I was performing, uh, but I've had countless performances that were smooth and great, and I gotten really good reactions from this. The nice thing is that the updates that uh, Greg Rostami has done to the app has made it so now there's some fail safes. So even if you don't get your notification or even if it fails, uh, there's even ways to recover, which is really great. So let me try to answer those questions that you guys have about this. And then I'm going to review some of the major effects you can do with Inject. Of course, I can't touch on all of them because there's over 20 that are just included with this. So the price of it right now, I think it's like $79, $79. I think that's what the price of it now. How difficult is it to perform Inject? Well, if you can swipe on your phone, then you can perform with it. In terms of the other major effect of peaking, it's very simple and very easy to use in that way. Um, let's talk about the major effect called Google Peak. So one way that you're probably going to utilize this, especially if you're into mentalism, is that you can have your spectator go to Google and you can have them search for something. And then 
you could tell them for you have a good reason of obviously like one that I use is uh, I'll tell a spectator do you know uh, I want you to think of a famous person they think of a famous person do you know how rich they are and they'll be like no I don't know what they're worth so then you tell them take out your phone for a minute let's check and see so you say go to Google and then you tell them to search for how rich is you know whoever and then in real time you can read their mind just like that you can also use this for pre-show where you could even have your phone in your bag and you could pre-show like five or six people and then later on you can go and check the answers to those things and use them in your show if you want to so it's very sneaky um, there's various ways that you can get the person to go to the URL that you need them to go to. And I'm gonna to touch on those. Um, one of the nice updates that Greg Rastami made from when this was uh, inject one to inject two was he enabled a feature that was called Google Images. And with that feature, you are now able uh, to pair or you were able to take the person to the right URL without them really realizing it, which was really clever. So when Inject went from 1.0 to 2.0, there were two major developments. One was that he enabled push notifications so you could perform this on the fly. You don't even have, there's no get ready. Um, and the other thing was that he enabled this way of pairing with your spectator's phone without having to touch their phone. Uh, the nice thing is that this has been included free of charge as an update to the original app, which is very commendable and, that, and that's really great. Um, so let's go over those questions you have. So how realistic is that URL that the person's gonna go to? On an iOS device, it's gonna look exactly like it, it should. On Android devices, I've noticed that sometimes the URL at the top may look a little funny, but if I just scroll up a little bit, that kind of disappears and they don't really notice it so much. So I haven't had any major issues with that. In terms of how do you get the person to that URL, right? So one way is that auto pairing or that, that pairing without you having to touch their phone, which a lot of people will like that. And like I said, you could do that over Skype or Zoom. The most basic way is that they take out their phone and then you ask them for their phone and you're directing them to Google, obviously. And the nice thing is that with the default text that's customizable, you can make it look like you're directing them to Google um, or you can make it look like you're typing in how rich is and then you hand them the phone and they're going to think that's what you typed in. Reality is you actually typed in the URL to a different site. Um, you can even use uh, QR codes if you want to. If you have a link on your social media, you can have them go to your Facebook page and click on a link. So there's a lot of ways you could take them to that URL. My favorite way is using an NFC tag. Now, if you're not familiar with that, this is something that's very useful for lots of different magic apps, not just inject, but especially when you wanna take them to another URL than where you say you're taking them to. Like if you perform ellipse, then this will be very useful to you as well. Uh, NFC tags are near field communication tags. And with the newest iOS devices, Android devices, if you put an NFC tag near the phone, the phone will automatically read it and it will give you an option to go to that website. Now, with older uh, Apple phones, like as long as you have an Apple phone that's seven or above, and as long as it's running the latest iOS, then there's a very simple way to do it as well. Now, me personally, I like to use ring NFC tag. So this NFC tag is actually a ring and I like that because it looks like a normal object and I can use it to do other magic effects, obviously. So I can do like a ring and string routine and then I have this whenever I want to, to use it. So let me give you an idea of how this is used, just so you can see how simple that this is and how innocent it is. So you have a person take out their phone and you tell that person, go to Google. So they'll go to Google and then when you take the phone, you tell the person, you say to them, look, I want you to search for how rich is, and then I want you to keep the phone close to your chest, and then you, so I, that way I can't see anything, um, and then you hand it back to them, and that's it. It's that simple, and you've already directed them. Now, the way that you do that is this, is that I just swipe down on the right side of the screen, and you're gonna get these options, which you guys are all familiar with, but there's one here in the bottom, which if you push it, it's an actually an NFC reader. You'll see that will come up. Now, when you put an NFC tag next to the phone like that, you'll get this option to go to that link. And then if you just tap that as you hand the phone back, it will go 
to what appears to be Google, but it's not really Google. This is actually your URL uh, for inject. So they'll think that they're on Google and they're, they're not. So that's really extremely clever. Um, it's really great. And so that's a way you can use NFC tags. In fact, um, I'd be surprised if somebody hasn't already created like an NFC deck. Um, you've heard it here first, right? It probably already exists, but if it hasn't, uh, because these NFC tags, you can get them like little stickers too. And so probably so you could take a deck of cards and make like an NFC deck if you wanted to. Anyway, so those are some of the ways that you can get the spectator to go to the URL that you want them to go to. In terms of obtaining the information, uh, the most basic way obviously is just to peek your phone. Um, you can use a smartwatch. Um, and for those people that think smartwatch is too expensive, I mean, you can get a cheap smartwatch that will work for like $30 off of Amazon. So if you're curious, uh, just send me a message and I can direct you to where you need to go to. Um, you can also use covert earpiece, just like I've done in the last review. And um, inject will, uh, the audio of inject is only in English right now. Uh, maybe that will be updated in the future, but it does have a nice uh, feature, which is that it will spell the word to you after it says it. So for example, if the word um, was night, you don't know if they're talking about like uh, the nights of the round table or night and day, um, you'll be able to hear the spelling of the word, which is very helpful uh, indeed. So all of that is just Google Peak. There's even more features I haven't even touched on because we'll be here all day. I mean, there, there's ways that you can use another spectator's phone to peek the information from the first spectator's phone, which, which is just crazy. Um, there's so many features here that it would take a long time to even go through all of those. But that just gives you an idea of what Google Peak is in general, okay? So let's talk a little bit about um, some of the effects that come with this. Otherwise, this review will be forever. Um, even before I touch on that, let me just show you uh, a simple effect that somebody created on the form, which I liked a lot, and I put this into my own inject, um, because like I said, you can create your own effects. So here's an effect that somebody created where basically you take the person to this picture here, and uh, this is for Harry Potter fans, and what you do is you zoom in on the ticket, and uh, you know the, anyone who's a Harry Potter fan will immediately recognize this ticket, and um, you tell them, you know, well, what time does the train leave to go to Hogwarts? And they'll they'll name a time, and then when they zoom out, they'll see that the clock is the exact time that they just mentioned, um, and so. This is an excellent effect, which is very simple. And the nice thing about it is because of the customizability of the app, they'll be able to keep that link with that image and go back to it whenever they want to and look at it. And so in this example, the time would have been like 4 p.m. So you could see how customizable this app is. You really are only limited by your imagination. So let's touch on a few of the effects of Inject that I really liked a lot. We're gonna start with one of the first ones that ever was created, which was called the Stanford List. So the Stanford List is this, is that you take your spectator's phone and you direct them to this image of the Stanford List and you explain to them that this was a list of items, that this was a psychological experiment done at Stanford University, and you put it aside, you make a prediction on a piece of paper, you have the person name and number, and amazingly, the item that's at that number matches your prediction. Now, this was the origin of the magic app called Realist that is right now very popular. So if you like Realist, then you will like this, or if you like that notion, then you have like something like that here. And another effect that's included, which is very simple, is called Planets. I like it a lot because the swipes are like super simple. There's like no memory involved where you take your, your spectator's phone, you tell them you're gonna search for a planet. You put it face down on the table, you ask them, what planet did I search for? And then when they, they'll name, for instance, they may say Mercury. When they pick up the, the phone, they'll see this, that you search for Mercury on their phone. It's very simple and direct, um, but very hard hitting effect. And you can use that with other in other applications as well. So that's kind of a nice thing. There are various web albums that are included. Uh, one of those is like just random 
images like you can see here. In this album, you can go to this album on their phone, you can let them swipe through and they can see that there's lots of different images. In fact, it'll take them over a minute to go through all of these images. But when you're ready to perform, you have the person uh, put the phone near their chest, they're, they're swiping through, they stop somewhere, and either you've predicted ahead of time where they're gonna stop, or they look at where they stop, they concentrate on it, and you can read their mind in real time. And the nice thing about it is this also, there's a version of this with actors. As you can see here, these actors are also, there's a web album with actors that's included, so you can do the exact same thing, but with actors with them. If you wanna do it in a different way, you could take their phone, you could say, look, I'm going to search for an actor. You put it face down, and then what you do is this, you pull out this list. Now, I've used this for many times. You pull out this list of 20 actors, and you tell them, look, I've got this list of 20 actors. I did a search for one of them. Um, I took this list from the top 100 actors or whatever. You have them name one of these actors, and when they turn over their phone, it's a picture of that person or, or you did a search for that person, for example. Um, so uh, that's one way of using that. Um, and in the same way, there's also a city prediction effect that's included, which is really great because you take your spectator's phone, uh, you go to, you tell them, I'm gonna do a search on Google Maps here for a city. And you put it face down, you pull out this list and you say, here are the, Here's 20 cities that I picked from a list of 500 popular cities or whatever you want to say and then you tell them to name one and they do and then when they turn over their phone amazingly it is the actual image map of the city for instance if they had chosen London this is what they would get. The nice thing about this is because you're using a lot of items um, I really liked how the swipe pattern is actually included here because these are have all random numbers on it The spectator might be like because if you tell them well I took I randomly took these from a list of the top 100 cities So it makes sense why they all have different numbers next to them But little do they know those numbers actually help you so you don't have to remember anything at all in that way in terms of some of the card effects that are included here there's any card at any number, there's any card at any picture, uh, there's the Houdini card effect, which is probably the most popular effect uh, with cards that have to do with inject, where you direct the person to a, uh, an image of Houdini. Again, you could have this posted on your, your Facebook profile. They click on it, they look at it, and you say, look, Houdini's looking at a card. What card do you think he's thinking of or he's looking at? And, We'll say in this case that they said like ace of spades and you have them zoom in on the eyes and they'll see ace of spades. Now the nice thing about this is you could customize this and change it, it could be your face. If you're good with Photoshop, you can make it so that's your face and the reflection is your eyes, which is really great. Um, other features or other things that come with this is that there is a YouTube cards effect here where it's really the invisible deck. Uh, you have the spectator take out their phone. You tell them, look, I'm going to direct you to a video here on YouTube. You put their phone face down. You can either have them select a card from a deck or you can just have them think of a card. And then when they turn over their phone and press play, they'll watch this video and they'll see a video of somebody spreading a deck of cards. They pull a card out and it's the exact same card that they pulled out or maybe it's just the card they thought of. Um, so that's an excellent type of invisible deck type routine. Um, there's another YouTube card effect that's included, which is called All Cards Match, and I think a lot of people would like that, which is the same basic premise uh, where you tell them that you're going to a YouTube video, you put their phone face down, you take out a deck of cards, you shuffle it, you let them cut it a bunch of times, and then you tell them, okay, play the video and follow along. They follow along with the video, turning cards over, and every card matches. Um, and it's a very simple effect, but it will really mess with their mind. So that's a great effect. So there's lots of effects that are built in here. And I could be here all day telling you about all of these. One last one I'm going to tell you about, just because I really like it a lot, it's called Hand Gestures. And in that one, you direct the person to another web album, which is supposedly the Dictionary of Hand Gestures. And in that version of the, in that effect, you say, look, um, each, each hand gesture has a meaning and you can let them go through it and they can see that they're all different. And you say, look, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a prediction here. You, you leave their phone face down. You ask them to make a hand gesture. So they make a hand gesture when they turn their 
phone face up, they could see it's the exact same hand gesture it matches. The best part about it is all of the interpretation or the meaning of the hand gestures. So it's a lot of fun. It's an effect that I think people are gonna like a lot. I've had lots of fun with it, I really have. So overall, I can't go over all the effects, but this gives you a good idea of what you can expect. So overall, you're really getting your money's worth for this app. In terms of any real negatives, I would say, the biggest negative with Inject is the learning curve. The reality is, is that each effect is very easy to use, but if you want to really learn how to use the app well, it's gonna take you some time. There's a good manual that comes with it, and there's actually videos with the manual that are really great, they're helpful. Unfortunately, I found that some parts of the manual need to be updated. Um, where I had questions that, that the answer was wrong in the manual, but at least on the Facebook user group, the answer was there that I could find. And there's a lot of good people that will help you. If you do have Inject and you have some issue, you can also message me because I've been using it for five years. I know a lot about it. Um, other than that, I would say though that it's an excellent magic app and it's definitely worth what you're paying for it. I, like I said to you guys, I think it's worth like four or five times what really what you're paying for it. For a lot of people, it will probably replace whatever impression pad you're using. Just think about how strange it would be that you bring out some weird pad to have somebody write something. It actually makes more sense that they use their own phone, especially because then they won't forget later what they searched for because they have it on their phone, which is really great. So overall, I would rate this Magic app as five out of five. There's so much more I could tell you guys about uh, Inject, but unfortunately, that will turn this review into like an hour long. Um, if you do have any questions about this, just feel free to email me. I may have the answer. If not, then I could direct you to where you can get the answer. And there's so many other ways you can use this app that I haven't even told you guys about. You really just need to take a look at it yourself. When I took the plunge and I bought this myself, I didn't know about half of this stuff. So at least you have the advantage that now you have a really good idea of what you're getting here. Thanks so much for tuning into my magic reviews. I'll see you on the next one.